guys, it's Vito Vengeance, and today we're looking at the Russian Tire 6 heavy tank, the KV2, the king of all derps. Now, this tank, where it's placed in the tech tree, isn't an interest spot for where it leads to, but uh, for the tank itself. So, yeah, and this tank really is amazing, and it can do things no other tank in the game can do thanks to, to this monster derp 152mm but let's begin with the stats so 860 health points compared to the KV-1S which only has 810 let's compare it to the T-150 the T-150 has 830 and with upgraded turret I'm not quite sure, I think it has 880, which is a little bit more than the KV2, but only 20 hit points. Weight, it has 30, 53 tons, which is pretty heavy, it's heavier than the IS-3. And I think it's also heavier than the IS-8. Engine power, 600 horsepower, which with this weight it's okay, I mean, it's okay-ish, speed is not fast by any means, speed limit 35 km per hour, okay, traverse speed 18 degrees, it's very slow, hull armor 75 mm at the front, 75 at the sides, and 70 at the rear, but the hull armor is pretty good. I mean it's the KV-1 armor but it's on a tier 6 tank but it can still do the job so you can still side scrape very effectively if you angle yourself unless the enemy is shooting at your lower plate or those machine gun ports here you can still take a couple of shots but bear in mind that this tank can see there are 8 tanks and tanks and especially tank destroyers have absolutely no problem in penetrating you. The turret however is very big, it's very slow turning and it's also pretty poorly armored. It's 75, 75 and 70 and pretty flat. From the front you can see that there is no angling whatsoever but it does have a pretty big gun mantle which can absorb a couple of shots. The gun metal all around is pretty well armored, about 200 mm thick, except for a bit here, right near the gun, which is only 100 mm thick. So, all around the gun metal is better armored than the front turret, but it can still be penetrated. But the armor isn't the strong point of this tank, neither are the hit points or its agility what makes this tank special is the gun and not the 107 millimeter which you also get on the T150 and I don't think you get it on the KV1S but anyway the KV1S has the 102 millimeter which is by no means the best gun you can fit on that tank but what makes this tank special is the 152 millimeter derp gun the M10 and as you can see it has very poor accuracy pretty bad aiming time but even though it has very poor accuracy you are still going to be able to make some clutch shots that are going to hit and this tank sometimes can be one of the best snipers even, even though it has pretty bad accuracy in fact it's the worst accuracy on a normal tank the rate of fire is pretty slow, 2.5 rounds per minute. Average penetration is pretty poor, 110 with average shells and 136 with premium, 86 with high explosive is acceptable. But the damage, 700, 709, 910 and what you have to play with this tank in shell, as for the shells I mean, are the high explosive. So as you can see, I have fitted 
30 high explosive and 6 gold rounds because the standard rounds with 110 average penetration that's as much as the Churchill 3 and it is considered to be a low penetrating gun for a tier 5 heavy tank not even thinking about tier 6 heavy tank so yeah load as many high explosive shells as you can and a couple of armor piercing because you never know when you're going to need them okay so what about it compared to, to the other tar 6 russian heavy tanks well you can't really compare it to the others because it's really special it doesn't have the armor of the d150 or you can say it's as agile or as a kv1s but it does have this monster their gun that can absolutely wreck some tanks and especially those new german tank destroyers that don't have any armor at all you're just going to penetrate with the high explosive shell and you're going to do massive damage to them as you're going to see in the footage i'm going to provide okay so enough with the talk let's see this tank in action and some tactics that you can use on the tank oh and also Equipment wise, I don't have equipment right now on the tank, but you need large caliber tank from her, um, improved ventilation, and encased gun lane drive. Those are the things that this tank lacks rate of fire and accuracy. And by using these two, these three equipments, you're going to improve them by 50% each. Also, crew, I don't have it. 100% crew, it's almost 100% and I should say you really need to get repairs all around and for the commander 6 cents like any other tank so let's jump into some games ok so here we are on mountain pass it's a tire 7 game and as expected I'm in my KV2 I mean it's a KV2 review what was I supposed to play and I'm headed in the beginning. I'm headed for a sniping position because there are there are chances that pretty high that you're going to hit what you what you're shooting at. Even though this gun is pretty inaccurate because it's RNG and the RNG lobes the field too. So I'll put it on double speed because at the beginning this A43 is just going to to fire with that Cheeto over there and there is nothing there isn't anything about me for me to shoot and as soon as I start moving of course tanks get spotted and I'm finally able to use this gun for the first time in this game sniping at about what distance is this guy it's after a rock so we can't know right now I hope you do him for him to move backwards a little but instead he decides to move forward but that's okay because he's still going into my firing range so 433 meters no problem so I see that this bridge here is in problem there is only a Panzer SF wall 4C and this FV304 that are running away and there is a Pencil SF5 and a Black Prince coming so there are two tire 7 tanks against one tire 6 tank and this is something you, you just can't do in any other tank in the game so fighting against two tanks higher one shot and I don't think except for artillery there isn't any technique in it you can just one shot a tank destroyer one tire higher than you and I just destroyed one of the two tanks that were threatening me so there is this black prince over there showing his back at me and the black prince I'm not sure what armor does he have in the rear, but I'm pretty sure it's less than 86mm, which is my penetration. So let's see, what can I do to 
or full health black prince. Nine hundred and fifty-nine damage in his rear. He's lucky that I didn't set him on fire. I mean, looking at the space, the speed he starts advancing at me because he will start advancing at me. It's pretty obvious, uh, obvious that I completely wrecked his engine. So he puts one shot, and right now I know he's on four hundred health, and it's really impossible for me to not one shot him. So while all I need to do is back off until I reload and wait for him. And I just destroyed, well not right now, in the next 10 seconds I will be able to say that here he comes, he's dead. So I just destroyed two tanks that were one tier higher than me, both on full health and I was able to keep this bridge alone, without any support. And this is the power of KD2. So this match is over, but I made a pretty large amount of damage, so only from those two guys I did, well, about 2300 damage, and from that last recipe at the beginning, I did about 2600 damage. And this replay showed the power of this derp gun. Now, the next replay is going to show the KV2 in its a more natural environment for him, for it. It's not a person, it's a tank, but it has personality. And that will be a tier 6 game. And I will be top tier, but this is not why this game is special. So we're on Lakeville, it's an encounter battle, and this is something I always do in my KV2. Especially when I'm on Lakeville or Malinovka. I put a very useless shot because you never know your luck. With this tank, that as I said before, Gary and Gita just loves this tank, you never know what you're going to hit. So I got tracked. I mean, what I did in the beginning was pretty stupid because enemies were able to spot me, but still, I'm in a KV2. So there is a little bit showing off from this Hellcat. But no problem for the my mighty 152 mm. And yeah, tactics. First of all, this tank is a support. So even though you see me playing on the front line, you actually you are actually on the front line from for about five seconds until you fire, and then you just need to back off. So this means that you need backup. You can't fight alone. So there is a key minus. And usually what I do in this tank, I just try to get as close to the battle as possible because this tank can snipe but you know it's just luck. So if you want to play the smart way just go forward and be on the front line when your are almost reloaded. And as soon as you fire, back off. There is a T-34 in my back. One shot. This KV-1 is shot the KV-1 instead. And overall there aren't many techs that, that you can use in this tank. For So for example you can some, sometimes side scrape, but normal things that you would do in any heavy tank. What it's special about this tank is that it can do stuff like that. This is really why you're on the front line. So you're on the front line, you wreck some somebody and then you back off. And right now I'm pretty dead, there is a king one is coming from the back, set me on fire and I'm dead. But why I showed you this replay is because because of that shot in the Hellcat at the beginning where I showed the sniping power of this tank and overall because I wanted to show wh what tank, what this tank is good at I mean I died yes because they, we were only 2 tanks in the town and they had about 4 tanks and it was no more normal for us to die I hope the tank destroyer in the back right there 
would come at uh, would come and support us but yeah what can you do and I hope I covered all the tactics so main use of this tank support vehicle you can play it as a normal heavy tank in defense like side scraping or you can't really hold down with this tank because of the turret you can snipe but you have to be lucky and that was it but there is one thing I have to show you so you've just seen me until now wrecking other things but what does it happen when a TV2 hits you I was on full health and I just lost 790 damage, 790 health and I got my ammo wrecked, ammo wreck uh, damaged, I was lucky that he didn't ammo wreck me, my driver is dead and he also damaged my right track, but I'm going to have my revenge on this KV2 by shooting him in the last second. So yeah, KV2 power you can derp other things but you're going to get derp too. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this video informative. If you did please press the like and subscribe button and may the RNG be with you, have a great day.